You will find a collection of redaction and commenting tools on the toolbar in both PixEdit and PixView. This video will use PixView to show you how to use these tools. In order to use redaction and commenting efficiently, we recommend the document be OCR'd prior to redaction or commenting. If your document is digitally born, the text is already searchable. Notice the significant difference between commenting tools and editing tools. While editing tools are used to make permanent changes to a document, commenting or markup tools are mostly used for adding comments or to propose changes to be made in a document. Let's take a close look at the tools for comments and redactions. Use the redaction tool to permanently cover sensitive sections on a document page. A redaction cannot be removed after you have saved the document and is, therefore, 100% safe to hide both visible as well as invisible OCR text and graphics. To redact a section of a document, make sure you have activated the redaction tool. Then drag out an area around the section to be redacted. If you have redacted the wrong area, you can undo your redaction by using the Undo button. However, once you have saved the document, a redaction cannot be undone. To add a note on a document page, activate the Note tool, then click to indicate the position of the note. The note, which is marked with your login name, is ready to be filled with text. You can hide the note by clicking the X in the upper right corner. To reopen the note, double-click the note. Delete a note by clicking it, then hit the Delete key on your keyboard. Or, right-click the note and choose Delete. In PixEdit and PixView, you will find additional tools for adding comments such as highlighting, underlining, and crossouts. Let's have a look at the Highlight tool. Activate the Highlight tool, then click and hold down the mouse button while you indicate the text to be highlighted. You can also add a note to the highlighted text by double-clicking the highlight and typing explanatory text. The Underline and Crossover tools work the same way as the Highlight tool. You can add markups in the form of ovals, rectangles, and lines with or without arrows. You can double-click comments and markups to add text boxes with additional information. You can right-click to configure transparency, color, line thickness, and other properties. As demonstrated here, all comments and markups are shown in the main window. To see an organized list of all comments and markups in the document, click the Comments tab in the Composition view. Dynamic comments and markups are only preserved when you save your documents as a PDF file. If you go to File, Save As, specify a file format such as TIFF, you will be warned comments and markups will be lost. You should, therefore, always save documents with comments and markups to PDF. Contrary to construction and edit functions, dynamic comments and markups cannot be recorded in macros.